Hello, Flesh Humans. Today I want to talk about chat being turned off in World of Tanks Blitz and also show you a pretty good example of why it might not be that bad of an idea. We got two battles here that feature the same Leopard 1 on the enemy team, and you'll see why in just a second. Now, chat has been turned off before, and it already starts very quickly. So, I don't really want to talk about that person because obviously the, the a despicable, worthless creature that should not have access to any form of the internet, but instead be locked in a deep dark hole with only bread and water. So, basically, the reason why chat has been turned off because Wargaming said that it is no longer tactically useful, and it, that is true. It never has been tactically useful. It's rarely been used for encouragement, rarely been used to tell someone who has how many HP on all those kind of things. It's been rarely used for that. It's mostly used for insults, for just pointless accusations of nothing. And yeah, you can see that already. I mean, this is the NA server, so you chat is being turned off, but this is the NA server, so it should be true for all chats, really. Now, I do guess that the main reason that EU chat is being turned off is because of the extreme influx of spam in Russian or Ukrainian language. Now, language isn't the problem. The problem is that there is a lot of spam. And spamming, no matter what language, is always bad. So I get why that wants to be combated there. Now, ideally, what I would love to see, instead of them turning chat off completely, is first of all, implement a better word filter, because, I mean, you have AI these days, you can spot how to circumvent certain bad word filters and then add that to the database, poof, but that's effort, and chat brings no money, so can't make effort there. Now, what another good feature would be to solve the problem is to simply um, implement a sort of auto-translation. It doesn't have to be great, but it at least has to somewhat represent what is being said, because then no matter what language is being spoken, everyone knows what's going on, because the language you set your game to, all messages will appear in that language, and that can be very helpful. Now, Leopard's gonna keep going, it doesn't really matter, um, but that will be a nice feature. Now, turning it off is obviously the easy and straightforward way to just stop any problem ever occurring, because there are plenty of people like that leopard out there that are just have nothing better to do. And this happened over multiple games, by the way. I'll show you the second one soon. This happened over multiple games. So, he's doing that, I would assume, every single game behaving like that. So, because of people like that, obviously they should be permanently chat banned. There's no doubt about that. So, if anyone from Wargaming sees this video, please make that happen. It is overdue for a very long time. So... We're going to the second game as well, because, I mean, it happened in a row. You already started in the first one, um, right here. But then, this is the game where it absolutely, completely escalated. Port Bay, again, E5. This was happening during my member platoons. If you want to become a member to help out the channel, join button is down there. Subscribe button as well. So, as I said, it's going to escalate. So, again, I would rather see the chat being adapted better. And to be honest, global chat should be turned off. You can turn it off yourself as well. That is a feature that has been implemented not too long ago. Uh, well, it's two years at this point, I believe. So you can go into the um, settings and then you can choose whether you only want to see team chat or you only want to see platoon chat and then you can turn off global chat. So I think what there should be a bigger emphasis on that setting because I don't personally care about people like that because I know that I'm a better person simply by existing than someone like that leopard. So that makes me feel good, really, because as how many things I have done wrong in my life, I'm at least not that guy, and that's already very refreshing and nice. So, basically, I don't care about the chat. It doesn't bother me. Obviously, there are people out there that are a lot more sensitive, that are subjective to uh, getting, you know, abused by, by things like that, especially in a game where 13-year-olds can play. I don't, you know, so that, that online bullying can be a thing as well. Which is bad. So, yeah, I do get it. I do get it why they're going to turn the chat off. In EU, at least. But I do primarily think that it's not based on the bullying, but it's simply based on everyone complaining about Russian spamming in chat. Which is valid. Because that's what's happening. Now. Here's the thing about the chat. It's supposed to be fun. Right? And Wargaming has all the eternal data. So they know what's being said. I don't know if they save every single message, but I do think that someone looks over it gradually and be like, okay, this is garbage, this is not. Ideally, if they're a well-run company, which I don't 
don't know about that. I don't know you see him running around over there, but that doesn't really matter. So, they have turned the chat off before, and they turned it back on and implemented the filter feature, so you can turn it off yourself. Now they're turning it off again completely. <laughs> they all already removed the global chat a long time ago as well, which was an absolute horror fest, so that, that this definitely deserved to be gone. And overall, it's sad that it has to come to this, right? Because this isn't Wargaming's fault, mainly. This is a education fault that people like this that can ruin other people's day in any form, be it performance, be it with words, in blitz. But that, obviously, Wargaming doesn't give a shit because they want money, and if they ban people that just spam the N-word, they're gonna lose revenue. So they just turn off the chat for everyone, it's like, you can't spam the N-word anymore, but you can still keep buying our stuff. That's obviously also a valid criticism of that entire thing, no question about that, right? Because the easiest way is to permanently ban that leopard for a game like it should be, um, and be done with it, right? Instead of punishing everyone for that existing. I, I don't even want to call that human because I don't consider it as such. So, it's obviously sad that the chat is being removed, to be honest, because there are great ways of interactions in Platoon chat this day. But here's the thing. I would like the compromise of remove global chat, fuck that, nobody needs it anyway, it's only used for toxicity, nothing else. There are, well, first of all, insults being shared, like from Matt Leo, or the even worse thing is information, which is going to happen very soon as well. There's only the bat chat left now. However, what that leopard is going to do, first of all, he's going to repeat that again, because apparently it wasn't clear that he's an absolute impeccable asshole the first five times. And now what he's going to do is going to completely throw that bat chat under the bus by exactly showing the, the location that the bat chat is in. Well, he shows it himself here by being in the sea cap, but later you'll see. So that, that is the worst thing. So the global chat should be removed completely. I am absolutely in favor of the global chat, the team chat being removed completely. It does not have a single good thing about it. Well, unless there's people on the opposing teams that know each other and be like, hi, but you can do that after battle as well. So there is nothing good about global chat. I'm absolutely in favor of removing that. It is toxic, it is horrible, it does not belong. Now for team chat, I would like the team chat to stay or be returned as well. Because, first of all, you can share information on enemies regularly there because, I mean, the attention in sector, whatever, and now yeah, there you go. Um, and the affirmative, the attack. I don't think that's quite enough, especially for, like, computer to getting hit points. Let's say someone says the bat shot's 150 hit points. It's useful for that. So I would definitely like to keep the team chat and um, then, again, implement a more advanced swear world filter that can detect deviations of the regular words. Like, for example, like he used a 9 instead of a G for the N-word, that that is being detected, that is being automatically banned, and that the report system, which is somewhat effective, you'll see that soon. Um, I had a game where two Moiskins were blocking a 111-14. That will come up in a short, in a week or two. Um, you'll see that, and I reported them, and it, they're allegedly was a penalty being dealt out there um, and the problem for uh, unspoken conduct or again chat message problems is that if the filter if the word filter doesn't detect anything because it's being purposely circumvented like in this case it's going to be hard to get there with reports because obviously paying employees to do content moderation is first of all expensive and second of all makes them miserable depressed given what kind of people are in this game at times now, the overall community, I think, is still a good place. There is no common evil here. And overall, I think Blitz is still a solid game, right? It isn't just infested with trolls. There are plenty. But it's not to a degree where it's every single game where it's just absolutely horrible. Right? Yet. Well, we'll, we'll see. There aren't that many bad people out there. There's plenty of bad people, but there's not that many bad people out there. So, I still have that much trust in humanity left, and um, of course I got downvoted by him, because why not? Um, gotta rub it in extra. So, that that's I'm not a fan of that emoji system either, so, it's dumb. So overall, 
what can we conclude from the chat removal? There are a lot of bad people out there. It, there should be more done to stop them, to filter them, to ban them, and not just chat ban, but permanently ban them from the game. Now, unfortunately, that is unlikely to happen because Wargaming will not want to hurt their own bottom line. They would not want such a player to stop being able to purchase tanks, for example. Because if we have a look, I mean, uh, this account is clearly a reroll meant for trolling. And if we have a look at it, it does have a KPZ50 on it. Um, it it's got a SU-130 PM on it. So Wargaming has earned from this account quite a lot. Look at that older tier 10 collectors. So there is a lot of money to be made from people like this. So there is quite a lot of he hesitancy to ban this away for good because obviously that loses revenue. So in the end, removing the chat completely is the easiest option, but it's the laziest option as well. Global chat should be completely removed. I am absolutely in favor of that, that you can't communicate between teams anymore. However, the team chat should definitely stay and should be moderated a lot better. That said, what do you think? Put it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.